my name is Emmaus, and this is my beautiful wife. I'm Nikki, hi. And that's Carmen, Vandy, Ego Don't in the her. background. <laughs> and guess what, guys? Woo! We're in the smoky. Smokies! And, and it's enjoying beautiful. it. Right. Beautiful. And we've actually been seeing you guys' comments and the love that you guys have shown. We're new to YouTube, we're new to van life, and y'all have been so encouraging, so inspiring, and giving us so much words of wisdom, asking right, us right. a lot of questions. Yeah, that was our first video. That van tour video was our first video. Our and, first, like, you know, real YouTube. Yeah, right, yeah. right. And, um, you know, it was like, man, like, this thing has been a blessing and so much love. So we just wanted to kind of first thank you guys yes. for that. Amazing. And, more importantly, you know, uh, the, probably the number one question that we were getting from that video is what, babe? How much does it cost? Right, right. <laughs> How much is that money to, to, to live this type of lifestyle, to build a van? Yeah. Um, the way that, um, you know, we were able to do it. And you know, how to pay for it. Y'all asked us, right. got all up in our business. Asking like, how, how we, we afford it? <laughs> and, um, you know, for us, it's just a lot of people have, have helped us along the way from just when we thought of doing this, just watching videos yes. and learning. So YouTube University, shout out to you. <laughs> yep, yep. And um, whichever way we could help anybody that is considering this, we felt that we should make a video to just kind of share and answer those questions. So yeah. let's hop in, Carmen, let's and in. share with you guys um, the expenses and get down to these financials. And let's go inside the van. Let's go inside Carmen, guys. <laughs> In the world is Carmen San Diego. Alright guys, so we're back in Carmen. Um, but we had to take a quick break. As actually we celebrated our anniversary, our one year. First year marriage anniversary. Yep, yep. And we went to Costa Rica. <laughs> It was actually our uh, first trip out the country together when we first got when we started dating. Um, so we wanted to revisit, and it was it was just an amazing experience. It was our first out of like forty. Right, right, yeah. First out of so forty we were trips. Excited, we packed like Madden advance. We were like, you know, we were we were just so excited for everything. Um, so, so yeah, so yeah, this was so this was big. Yeah, going back out there. I mean, we just had such an adventure, some beautiful places that we were able to stay. We met some really nice people. people. It was just great all around. Pura vida. My love. Pura vida. We're back in, we actually in Nashville, Tennessee now. Nashville. So <laughs> we actually parked the car here and flew out to Costa Rica and now we're back in Nashville. And uh, yeah, so we wanted to share with you guys some of the expenses that we have, uh, what we, that we occur when we are actually um, van lifing. So um, I guess we could, well actually first we want to start off before we even talk about the expenses of the month of uh, the question that everybody's been asking. Yes. How much did it cost for us to do this van, right? Because we have some unique things. I think some of them are pretty standard, but um, I do want to give this disclaimer because we didn't realize how much we had spent until we do <laughs> these numbers on anything, on our monthly costs or this. It may be a little jarring to you if it is like how it was for us, right? Um, the numbers are high. I guess relatively, I guess depending on who you are, it's not high if you have like a super high end luxury RV. But, you know, I think based on what we saw on YouTube and a lot of people making it themselves, it came in way lower than what we spent. But it's because we decided that we wanted to have luxuries of home. If we were going to go from living full time in like a, you know, luxury condo and things like that, we didn't want to have to go and kind of have the bare minimum in the van and so we right. wanted it to feel as much uh like home and have the least amount of transition because living in a van is always going to be a learning curve we wanted it to be as least steep <laughs> as possible right, and right. um and also we, we yeah. actually decided that um you know we didn't want to build it ourselves that yes. that's one thing i would like to tell you guys is that um you know from what we saw you could probably save up to close to 50 percent of what we spent if you build it yourself but or for more, us yeah even more, more right right but for us we were just like 
A, we didn't want to have to learn all of that. We didn't have the time. The the, the learning curve was just yeah. crazy. We saw videos where it took people like, you know, a year to two years building their van. We and wanted to start yesterday. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> and then all kudos to them. Yeah. Um, but mainly for us, you know, when we saw the idea on YouTube, we was excited. Our lease was coming up that was about to end. So we was just like, hey, look. We need this thing now, and how can we get this done? So we saw a company in Maryland, where we're from, uh, called OGA Vans, and we said, you know, let's reach out to them and actually see what they have and if it could be possible. And lucky for us, they, had they made it happen. And they had an opening. They made it happen. It just was kind of miraculous the way that it worked. If you guys don't know, the story is that we were kind of praying about it. We had a lease that was ending in October, and we were just like, okay, we want to. We don't want to renew our lease, so we want to do van life. But when we were just kind of arbitrarily calling around and looking online, we saw them for like $100,000. It wasn't what we really even wanted, and um, they had a lot of miles on them. And then when we wanted to get it built from scratch, people were saying it was a two-year wait list just to get on there because, I guess, van life started exploding during right. COVID, right? So, I guess I was just like praying one day about something and just about life, and I got a ding on an email that I've had since I was like 15, right? <laughs> and it has like 40,000 emails. I don't hardly ever check it, but I saw it said, act today, get a customized, you know, van or something like that. Open it up. It was OGA, and they said, listen, we just had a slot that opened up for whoever acts now. You still have time to fully customize, and you can, you know, you can get a get a van. You can do a virtual tour. I think it was, like, to sign up for a Zoom tour. So I signed up. I've been e I was emailing the guy, like, immediately, and just, no, long story short, we put down a deposit, like, within 24 hours. And then we drove to Frederick, which was, like, maybe an hour or two away from us in Maryland, Frederick, Maryland, and saw it and I think that was it and we were like we're moving in final wire three two transfer sent <laughs> had never done van life before had never even rented a van never even stayed in an RV or camped we camped one time together I think in a tent and yeah so that was an experience and yeah so just to add a disclaimer to that because it was kind of rushed as well because we wanted like an immediate van and we needed it done quickly because of like our lease date and all of those different things and we got it done under eight weeks um i think that added a little bit to the price too so you can save with that <laughs> all right so now that i've given you a million disclaimers all right, let me actually read what we got so let's talk about the expenses all right and pull out my handy dandy i feel like i need uh, some glasses to push up right, right, right. Now. i'm already starting to sweat because of this, right? <laughs> or because of the 100 degree weather in right, nashville right. <laughs> you know, we're trying to turn off the fan so y'all can hear it. Let me start off with like the basics. So they gave us basically a basic build, um, which cost a certain amount of money. And then we could add on top of that, right? And so let me tell you exactly what the basic build and covered and how much that actually was. So, And, uh, and first, first, we just want to say too, so we ended up getting a 2019 uh, Ram uh, ProMaster. Um, the 2500 extended so that's the actual vehicle 159 inch yeah yep extended. so that's the actual vehicle that we ended up purchasing yeah. which roughly uh, was about like thirty thousand yeah. dollars so we already kind of started at that thirty yeah. thousand so dollar mark <laughs> so that's basically the base so of just the car itself now can you get it can you get a i've seen people get trucks for 500 or whatever the yeah. thing with us too is that we don't want to do work on like fixing it you know what i mean or yeah i mean some, minor minor things we can do yeah. but we just didn't want to be on the road and like something Breakdown. major happens yeah so we just got the vehicle that Brand came new. with um you know warranty and all that kind of stuff so that we could be covered. Yeah, and zero miles so that it could actually really be brand new. So that's what it was. And the reason why we chose that van as well is because we wanted one that his head can clear. He's six. Six one. Six yeah. one, right? <laughs> and so as long as his head cleared um, the ceiling, we wanted more width. And so as far as like the, I think the big three that people get are the Dodge Ram, ProMaster, the Sprinter, and the Ford Transit. Out of the three of those, the ProMaster is the widest. Um, the other ones are maybe a little bit more height, maybe a little bit more long, but we want it with so that we could do more with it. And it's more square so that apparently it's supposed to be easier to build in. So that's what was available. We didn't do all the research beforehand. We just saw that was what available. So that's what we got. All right. So they grouped the custom conversion all together in one price. So we don't have the line by line for that. I mean, I, 
I can kind of break it down for the extra. So they told us how much each thing would be extra. And then there's one bulk for the custom conversion. So if you want like the basics that you need and uh, the batteries, the plumbing, all of that stuff is included in this one price. So let me just give you that. And then I'll give you line by line on if the extras that we added as well. All right. So what's in the basic conversion is your storage benches, which are the things that were sleep underneath our bed, um, the convertible bed, the driver's side appliance and storage cabinets um, six inch foam mattress on top of the benches slash bed uh, rock wool insulation on the walls and the ceiling cabinets overhead storage cabinets removable table wall ceilings and floor built in solid natural wood 115 watt solar panel 2000 watt inverter max air roof fan and vent one of them um, 100 lithium battery so just one battery that's included um, an alternator charger a Dometic 80 L refrigerator and freezer I don't know them 80 liter I guess the thin scape or solid butcher block countertop so we got the thin scape dual burner cooktop with five pound propane tank and a fresh water tank for 20 26 gallons we upgraded that all right um, three to four gallon interior gray water tank carbon monoxide and LP detector dimmable LED lights 120 volt 12 volt USB those three 120 volt 12 volt and USB outlets in the rear and front of the living space is everything that comes in the basics and then you can upgrade so if you want to get just that they charge just thirty nine thousand five hundred including the thirty thousand for the car yeah keep pretty the running much, total. yeah pretty much puts you at about seventy thousand okay a little under seventy thousand so that's for the base model which pretty much would give you the basic things that you'll need in a conversion van yeah. but basic things decided, that we needed there are right. people that can live with way less yeah, yeah basic of course, things that of course. we Needed, right um, right to make it feel less comfortable, so. so now from there we decided to get some upgrades and she's gonna go over that as well yes a whole long list of upgrades all right so we got the driver's side swivel chair so that turns around so that we can use the counter as the office right. um so that yeah, and, one that, is, and that was a that must was, that was a must could use it as a bedroom yes. we right, had so. used it to sleep in when we had five people in here when we first got right, in the van. Right. so that so. one does lean back pretty flat and so yeah that that can convert into a bed i guess all right and then we got a dual zone led lighting so that means that there was uh two so two sets so one in the front of the van and one in the back, back. so it just goes all the way straight back and then also underneath the cabinets so that was an extra 190 um, then we got a flip down extension outside table we're big on business and yeah. you know we didn't want to have to just always have to work inside of the van so anytime we're at like a cool little like a beach area or just park. A, a park somewhere with a nice view yeah. sometimes we just kind of open up this back door we pull out our bench our little beach chairs and just relax and do our work okay sliding doors or windows we paid extra for the sliding door vented window so on the sliding door that one you can either choose not to have a window or we have one that you can actually open up to get a breeze which is actually helping us right now you right, see how right, we look right. dry and it's 100 degrees outside so and for us um, having that was amazing to add that on like she said it was just the breeze yeah. and just for more lighting as well and, um, but you could also, you could always deci decide. Some people decide not to have they windows. They want it dark and more to, stealthy. And, yeah, for more stealth. So this way people can't really see if it's a convertible van, if somebody's living in there. Or because yeah. uh, the one thing I would say is that sometimes, uh, because we have like flowers on one of the countertops, um, if we do open that window, if people are walking by, people do see that. So they might say, oh, you know, look at this co the conversion van, or they yeah. might just notice it a little bit. Um, so we do keep in, keep that in mind as we're traveling. It's like if we want to stay in stealth, we just keep it closed. And once it's closed, it's tinted, people can't see in. Can't see but um, if we open it, then they can see. Like this morning when right. sometimes I'm scantily clad <laughs> and people see. So it's okay though. So that one, that is a bit of a price tag. That is $1,100. Whole lot of money. So you got to decide like, 
do you want to be stealthy or do you want to have like a little bit of a breeze and be able to see out and I do like it because sometimes when we're driving you know especially with the second window that we got so we have the sliding door window we also added the one in the back um, the rear side vented window which is right on the passenger side back um, that one actually was twenty one hundred dollars so yeah yeah eleven hundred. so that's Cost. almost like thirty that's thirty two hundred dollars in extra windows but is it worth it yes because when I'm back here I get to see stuff. Like, if, if Emace is driving and I happen to be back here kind of laying out in the right. bed, and he's like, oh, babe, look at these houses or look at the alligator on the street. I don't have to be like, no, where? And right. I can actually see and, um, and you know, or chill back here and be able to see what's going on, get the breeze if I'm working in the bed. So I like it. Right. It makes it feel bigger. Windows always make your place feel bigger. And in the beginning, we were considering putting another window on the other side. And yeah. now, actually, being in a van, I'm glad that we didn't. Yeah. Um, a, it allows us to have our projector uh, so we can watch our movies and then B just give us at least one side of the the van that's a little bit more private yeah. and you know once we get to the point where we're in like a secluded desert or something like that or just somewhere super private we could actually bring our outside projector and watch movies from that On side the of the van so we're looking can't forward wait. to that can't wait all right so that's windows so now utility. So we got a second fan so that it can create like a really good air tunnel. I've heard that on a lot of YouTube <laughs> videos. But yeah, one is input, one sucks the air out, one pushes the air in, and then it brings the air from the outside too. So it does give us a nice little breeze yeah. um, when we're in here. So that was key. So that was an extra $765. All right, then we got a sink upgrade Ruvati. And so that's just a deeper sink that actually comes with a wood butcher block covering. That was an extra $425. So we're at about like 74 at this point. Um, we pre-wired for 12 volt AC. And so that's the extra 150. So we were just sure if it was gonna be, like how it was gonna be in the, in the van with just the two fans. And for me at least, I know that I hate being extremely hot. And yeah. more importantly, I'm cool with dry heat, but when it's humid and all of that, like I just, it's just, not for me so i said all right let's definitely get it pre-wired and in the future if we ever wanted to upgrade all we have to do now is just get the air conditioning and get it installed versus having to get it wired uh, yeah. so so that was a plus so for that's us a so that's I a key probably i think might yeah try that out work. if you're if you don't want to jump into spending the money of right away with the air conditioning get it pre-wired try out the two fans i mean honestly it hasn't been like extremely bad i've actually been able to cope with it there have been one or two days where it's just like really humid yeah. but with the two fans on it does give it a little you know nice breeze in here so we've been able to cope with it but we'll see how it goes we'll see <laughs> when we get over to the west coast and the in arizona and stuff so right. that's only 150 i think it was worth it um some of you guys that's doing your own wiring you're like what people are charging this amount that's another thing. As you're listening to this, if you're like, that's insane, I do that for free, or it only costs me this amount for materials. Now, if you ever want to make somebody else's van, you know how much you can charge. Okay, <laughs> so you're welcome. All right, so another thing that we paid for an upgrade was the Wabasto air heater. That was clutch because we must. started in Christmas yes. during Christmas time. It was snowy. We've been in like really cold temperatures, probably like 20, 15, 20 degrees. Fahrenheit, and yeah. So, and, and I'm telling you, so. Um, yeah, so that's one thing too. I know you could throw in a whole bunch of jackets probably, but we just didn't want to have to deal with that. So we definitely yeah. opted in to get the heat and it's definitely came in handy. So I, I suggest that. I don't see how, for me personally, how yeah. you can live in a van without it. I mean, we do have insulation by the way. So there is, the van is insulated. Yeah. So it does help with that as well. But in times like possibly going to Alaska. Which we plan on doing. Right, right. Stay tuned. You know, um, we're definitely going to need that heat. <laughs> Yeah, so it depends on how you want to do it. There's other, you can get the little um, Mr. Buddy heaters. There's so many different ways and cheaper ways to be able to do it, but we wanted it just built in so it can kind of be like how we're used to in our right. house, which was like central AC and heat. And so we just hit a button, it's a thermostat, it can be on a timer, it turns on and off, and it doesn't even use that much battery, I yeah, feel like. Yeah, you run it all night. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't use that yeah. much battery, um, so, so yeah, definitely recommend it. Yeah, all right. Cool. So that is that. So that one was twenty eight fifty. So we're at about seventy seven thousand at this point. All right. I'm gonna stop adding it up until the yeah, end. Yeah, I don't know actually. why she's doing that because her <laughs> math is probably extremely scarier. wrong. But um, you know, you we'll we'll give you guys the total at the end. Yes. All right. We also have a fridge upgrade so that it's larger, right? right. So this is instead of the eighty liter we did the 110 uh upgrade to a dometic 110 liter and so that one is an extra 350. for us it's been helpful because you know 
we want to be able to just you know, have like different things in the fridge from vegetables to different stuff uh, you know so for us I recommend it because the space is definitely needed it's, it, we went from having a big fridge to now a small fridge and uh, but surprisingly it's pretty deep it's pretty deep yeah, you yeah. put a lot of stuff in right, there right. So, so I can go regularly grocery shopping what I will say is an unexpected thing that you kind of change your thinking about once you start van life is when you go grocery shopping usually I would buy stuff in bulk like the big boxes of like kale pre-washed and stuff like that now it's like okay let me get three small bags you know even right. though it doesn't save me as much I'm like this I can kind of squish into the corner somewhere versus like a big plastic box so you think more about packaging the size of things that you have it's it's weird but it's cool you would you adapt <laughs> so then also we have outdoor shower um which yeah. is cool we <laughs> like it we've used it a few times that one's 675 dollars and i 100 percent recommend outdoor shower um you know it's just it's just nice to just kind of be places and be able to shower out there I think we first discovered the outdoor shower on a trip that we went to, and it was like, man, this is great. Yeah, so California, we, right, right, in right, LA, right. it was and, right outside, it was so freeing. Right, and we was just like, man, we definitely need that for the van. All right, cool, so indoor shower now, this is where the money resides. Um, that one is, so obviously you know, that includes our, just like the plumbing for it. That, that didn't even, I, we didn't, they didn't finish the shower for us because we wanted to put the tiling up, and the tiling that they quoted us was going to be so much, it was just going to be more than what we thought we could do it for ourselves and so they just did the plumbing for us and kind of put the plywood up and that was it and gave us the door so we could um adhere it ourselves right. so with just that that is 51 50. it yeah. was 5500 if they did everything themselves but they took the extra 350 off because they didn't finish it with the frp Next board right. um so we went and got our own frp board we glued it we um put the pink um like waterproofing things up we learned a lot on youtube so that was like our little project the bathroom right. and put the tiling up on the backsplash of the kitchen that was cool and I, what i would say about the shower is just um you know it's definitely been helpful at times of course uh just being able to use a shower in here uh, we do go to a lot of uh, planet fitnesses and you know for us you know we get to work out don't have to worry about of uh, saving water you know we could take a regular shower in there so that's really helpful um, but just having a shower here in case like we're in certain places and we don't have access to a Planet Fitness it's just clutch you know yeah. so we like it just knowing that you can do it you know what I right. mean like that's what it is but I will say Planet Fitness is the best $20 we can <laughs> exactly. he'll get into that with our monthly but I mean we're more fit we're more clean we get yeah. to save our water for things other things so all right last thing of utilities is gonna be our composting toilet and we do use that and the exhaust fan that comes with that and the wiring for the exhaust fan so that was 1250 buckaroos and we use that a lot <laughs> only for aces not for deuces we have a no deuce allowed policy well, not a, in not the a, house not a, not a no deuce it's just an emergency emergency use. deuces, deuces which yeah. i don't know who has emergency right. deuces but we <laughs> well at times oh god water system so we do have hot water on demand when we press a button um, and that one to install that it, it's a system that runs off of our vehicle's engine the engine must be running or have just run so it usually will take a hot shower or if I need hot water to wash dishes or whatever whatever we'll do that right after we finish driving and it's good for about or we have to run the car for 15 minutes and then it'll heat up because the water passes through the hot plates from the engine and then heats up. Yeah, or, um, you, or you can actually just leave the car on the car while you're, you know, in the shower. In the shower yeah. So, but the best thing for us is just actually, you know, using a shower, doing anything that we need hot water right after we park after yeah. a drive. All right. So now the next thing is going to be batteries and power. I know a lot of people want to know about that. So, inverter upgrade. Um, so that's basically st taking the standard inverter, which was a thousand watts, and upgrading it to two thousand watts. Right. So that is eight hundred eighty dollars extra we got two additional batteries so remember in that initial bucket of 39,000 um, we got one 100 amp hour lithium battery so we now have 300 so that was an additional 2250 um, and they are battle born we battle born, yeah so battle born yeah. is supposedly top of the top line, line yeah. uh, definitely recommend it and um, the three batteries, I 100% recommend it as well. I mean, right now we have, uh, well, she'll get into the solar panels, but we have one solar panel. We are going to get another one um, to yeah. on the other side just to give us, you know, some more energy. And usually that will last, I'll say, if we're just kind of 
not doing anything extreme in here and we've and we've charged it fully about four to five, five days, days, days yeah. or and so. And that's charging our phones, right? Yeah, our pretty much laptops, everything. Refrigerator, refrigerator, just doing work, all that kind of stuff. Water, sure. You know, you can't be in here going crazy now, but uh, you know, four to five days. And to us, it's, that's good enough because we usually stay in places about four to five days before we go to the next city. Yeah. So that works out perfect. But, you know, if you want to add additional batteries, that could give you a little bit more life, um, you know, or some more solar panels. Yeah. Um, so, the total, the grand total. Drum roll, Stop. please. <laughs> all right. With all of our upgrades and the basics, plus the car van is... <laughs> $95,905.50. Man, and um, let's just say after including like some, like the pillows, our comforters, the all tile work, the, tile the painting, work, um, all the little all things the for the van, we're a little over $100,000. Yeah. So, but, I mean, but that was actually our budget. We said, okay, we would have stayed yeah. by like around. no more around $100,000. Yeah. Um, and we, we were able to do that. But I'm not saying, hey, look, guys, you, it's going to cost you $100,000 no. to do this. Mm -hmm. Like I said, building it yourself, there's, you can find some of these things. We were rushing to get this thing done. You can find some of these prices and get things done a lot cheaper and save you even over 50%. You know, so you're looking at, I've seen vans be built for about 40, like 12,000, 7,000. Like you yeah. said, like, you Super know, if you find cheap. an older vehicle, you can even get that, you know, as well. So there's plenty of ways yeah. that you can save money. But for us, we rushing it, we just being a little bougie. <laughs> we wanted a we certain wanted type of van. We wanted yeah. luxury. And that's what the price costs us. That's all right. It and it's cheaper than a house. So when exactly, you're like exactly. That, that's what we was comparing it to buying, uh, you know, we're newly married. Yeah. Comparing it to buying, uh, a, you know, the house that we wanted. Um, to, for us, this is what we wanted. And yeah. $100,000 versus... You know, Half three, four hundred, five hundred thousand yeah. for a house to us was great. And we get to move our house wherever. We get exactly. to have a changing backyard. Exactly. I get to have a changing group of friends and network, changing experiences. And so that was definitely worth it for us. This is a magic house. And just like a house, you can sell it or rent it out exactly. and make your money back. So it's really like, yeah, we're renting it for a hundred thousand dollars, and we expect to make that or exactly. more. If we once ever decide, we're if we decide to sell Carmen, sorry, Carmen, come here. I know, your ears. I know, I know. No, don't, don't listen to this, Carmen. Kidding. You know, but we, you know, we keeping that in mind. It's it's actually kind of like an asset because unlike a vehicle, when you buy with nothing, um, you know, not not a, it's not a home. When you sell it, you're gonna probably lose money. Yeah. But with this, the improvements that we've done to the actual van actually helps with the value. All right. So later on, if we sell it, uh, but or rent it out for yeah. two, three hundred a night, like we did uh, when we were first seeing if we like van life. It was a lot of money people were renting right, it out for. Right. So, but don't get sure. excited, guys, because we don't plan on selling Carmen <laughs> or renting her out for now. Not All yet. right. We wanted just to kind of bring you guys some value. Hope we did uh, with this information. And if you want to reach out to us again, follow us at the link below by either signing up and subscribing to our, to our page and also um, social media. Um, you can find me, uh, my name is Emmaus Ferdinand. Um, it's a unique name, so it's gonna be easy to find me on Instagram and Facebook and all of that. And um, if you want to follow my beautiful wife. I am Nikki, N-I-K-K-I underscore underscore F-E-R-D. So Nikki Bird on Instagram. And if you guys want our sheets, you know, I know a lot of people probably want to know this see the breakdown if you want our sheet just go to our website i think the easiest way is go to myfreedomuniversity.com go to contact us and then just get our emails and shoot us an email and just in the subject line very important just put van life sheet requested and right. that way we can go through that very quickly and just copy paste copy paste copy paste and send it and um yeah so if you guys want to know exactly how much we spend monthly though because we gave you the whole overview of how much to spend just overall to build your van but you might want to know and plan how much you're going to have to spend monthly we have a video coming up next so right. you can see what our monthly expenses are so you can plan to do a little bit less a little bit more or just see how much it's costing us all right see you guys in the next video all right guys peace